What do you make of the Apple Watch? Is this going to be a surefire success? First of all, thanks for having me, guys. I, you know, is it going to be a surefire success? Only the sales will tell in early 2015. I think the event itself was a success. Obviously, the media buzz that's been created through it uh, in only 24 hours has been phenomenal. Uh, the figures that you guys have just recently talked about in terms of the number of devices that are planned to be shipped next year. I think that's indicative of Apple definitely thinking that this market's worthwhile. Uh, you know, this watch is very fitness heavy. You got to remember a lot of these fitness trackers were sold and, and have been sold through the Apple store for quite some time now. So they have the inside knowledge of just how much these fitness tracker devices have been selling for a while. And they integrated that very heavily directly into this watch. So do I think it'll be a success? I think it'll be uh, probably the most successful consumer focused smartwatch to date. Um, I, I think these analysts are making some very strong uh, predictions, which obviously, you know, us in the industry, we definitely hope that those come true. So, Lewis, basically, Apple's going to do it again, bust a move. I mean, you know, it's not first to market, but you think this is going to be the best so far. And, uh, in fact, it, it's basically going to break the game open in terms of wearables. Well, so you're correct. That's an interesting point. They're not the first to market. The, the smartwatch market has been around for about two to three years now, most notably with Pebble crowdfunding uh, to a record $10 million at the time. And Samsung has had their gear watches out for some time. Sony's had some. LG just launched a very uh, successful the G. And the Moto 360 is probably the one that is uh, pinned against the uh, Apple smart or Apple Watch the most. Uh, do I think they're going to blow it open? I think comparatively, yes, absolutely. And uh, Louis, I just wanted to ask as well about who are the big losers out of, I guess, the Apple Watch? Is it the likes of Samsung? Is it the likes of Pebble? Tell us. Actually, I don't think Pebble or Samsung has anything to worry about. Uh, one thing that you guys have hit up, uh, you know, significantly all this, which makes a lot of sense, is the fact that it's tied to your iPhone. There's a lot of Android users out there who are uh, never going to buy this, uh, th this watch specifically because they are Android uh, users. Uh, Pebble actually has the benefit currently of being the market leader of both Android and iOS uh, compatibility. So I actually think this bolsters them because they are actually sitting at a significantly lower price point. In fact, the, the, I, uh, or the Apple Watch, excuse me, at uh, $350, as is typical for Apple, is a premium compared to the market. Most of these watches average right around $250, $255 as an average. So P Pebble actually, I think this uh, is great for them. You know, more consumers will be aware of what the smartwatch market means. They'll be able to compare uh, which watch actually works for them. And like I said, the Android users really will flock to uh, the, the Moto 360, the Samsung uh, gear, maybe if they want to try the Tizen uh, operating system. And then definitely Pebble's uh, a fantastic watch.